So here, what we'd like to do is change the color of the label here for the y-axis and the label, actually, we just call the y-axis. This is something that we have set over here. So you can see that we core that Y axis and X axis over here as the label. So what we can do is we want to change the color or Y axis over here. And also we want to change the color of these tick marks. So what we can do is we can use the function GCA, which we are familiar with previously. So we used it to basically set the major tick marks. And we said we wanted those tick marks to be separated by two. So the gap between each tick, tick mark should be two. So what we can do is this is that's why we had situation. So each one is separated by two. We can do the same thing over here. So using GCA, so notice here we are GCA, we can actually access another function called tick param. And this tick param actually takes in an axis we want to change so we want to change y axis and we want to change the color to red and for the label what we want to do is notice here if you don't have to specify that this is the optional parameter so for the y label we want to change the color to blue so we specify the color argument here and pass it the value of blue and if we were to run this, you can see the output that we get on the graph is we get these in red over here. And we can see that the label has changed to blue color. But notice this has only happened for the y-axis and not for the x-axis. So these are still in black. So what we can do is rather than specifying, so we can change this to blue as well if we want. So we can copy that over here and paste that and notice now if i were to run this that both our labels have changed to blue same as the y-axis over there but notice that tick marks have not changed the color so what you can do is you can come over here and but it says axis and if you change that to both so we have now changed this to both and if we were to run this over here and what you can see is this has now changed to red over here as well and if you wanted just the x one then you can specify uh, in this axis as x so if i go in here and type in x and now that we specified x uh, the effect of this will be is that that this will change into black while this one will remain as red so if we were to run this again you can see that we specified x to change into red but we didn't touch the y axis so by using here the the x axis over here this parameter you can change the color